explain that to me. It is a social construction. Race isn't real. Now, yeah. I think that's hard for uh, it's hard for me to understand exactly what that means. So right. that's uh, a great question. I mean, so it's hard to understand it because it's, it feels real. Right. It, it looks real. Um, well, I know that, for example, uh, you had this guy, Christopher Rufo. I hate to keep going back to him, but he's Italian-American. Yeah. So he says, wait, well, I'm Italian-American. I'm not white. I go, you're white. Because <laughs> when people see you, they go, you're white. And so that's a social construction because they maybe uh, Italians weren't considered white. They weren't. Neither were when Irish. They first came here. Yeah, and neither were Irish, right? And and we could look at people from. I mean, how like, white are the fucking Irish, by the way? Oh, They're right. really like, white. That's the irony of it, right? But yeah. when they came here, <laughs> they don't they don't get membership, you know. But but the idea is to say that there are biological things. Of, all right, the biological difference between me and you uh, is in, minuscule, if not infinitesimal. Right? There's no real biological difference between black people and white people, right? That's not the issue. Um, there are phenotypic differences among different types. of I have different hair than you. I have different lips, et cetera, et cetera, right? That's biological and that's real. That's what people That's what people look at when they say, oh, race is real. I can, I can tell a black guy when he walks in the room. Of course you can, right? That's not the right. issue. The idea of categorizing people by those differences is something that we haven't always done. And it's not something that we necessarily do in the same way in every society. If I went to uh, the Caribbean if I were in the Spanish speaking Caribbean, there might be 10 different ways that we categorize people by color that wouldn't be the way we do in the United States. Uh, there are countries we could go to where people get racialized and they look exactly the same. And so when we say race is a social construct, it means that the meanings we attach to it. For, mm -hmm. it it's, it's, it's like we would say with, the, with gender, right? When a, babe, when a baby is born and we decide to paint the room blue, there's nothing about babies that like the, the color blue, right? But we've we've attacked. Are you sure? <laughs> I am. <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> okay. But but the idea is, if, if the moment the baby's born, we give them blue and we give the girl pink, then at some point they start to think that those are boy and girl colors. That's the social construction. But some of the social meanings we give them are are, are constructed, and it's the same thing with race. And so when we say this, and, and so in America, what makes us different is is is, is being white or non-white. Right. Either you're white or you're not. White is the club that everybody wants to get into. The velvet rope is right on right outside of whiteness and everything else is we're trying to get. When Arabs came here, you know, they, they were characterized as non-white. They fought to be characterized legally as white, which has come back to bite them in the ass now. You know, as you see in all the fight, all the all the census fights, um, uh, you know, again, Irish people were outside of whiteness until they weren't, you know, um, and that's different than ethnicity. And that's what me and Rufo were arguing about. And that's the point that I'm making. Yeah, we all have different ethnicities. Right. You can be. You can be Irish, you can be Italian, you can be whatever, right? Um, but race is something different. And, and, and race is, is de determined by power dynamics. That's why when you ask a white person, what do you love about being white? Because he, he was saying that I define uh, whiteness as something negative. And my point is, whiteness as an idea is a construction of power. Not being Italian, you can name a million things you love about being Italian. You can name a million things you love about being uh, Russian, maybe not this week, but like in general, like you can name a million things you love about being Russian. But it's really tough to say what you love about being white unless you're talking about the things that you get that people who aren't white don't get, right? Or it's, it's, it's often about power dynamics. That's why there's an uneasy. One of the stuff. things, like my my daughter got some training. She, she is uh, in public, uh, D.C. public school system. They got some training. And she said, Dad, um, when you leave a store, do, do you absolutely know where your receipt is? And I said, No. She said, that's the difference. Yes, exactly. If you're black, you go into a store and buy something, you kind of want to know where that receipt is. Oh, I keep it in my hand. Yeah, and that's that to me is really vivid yeah. and very clear. When we talk about white privilege, that's what we're talking about. It's not that white people get stuff that they shouldn't get. It's that they get stuff. Uh, in a society that others don't get. And the thing that gets them that stuff is their whiteness. And so whiteness has power. Whiteness, as critical race theorists say, argues as a form of property. And that's the dangerous part. Mm -hmm.